What's up, you YouTubers? It's your boy Harpy Hunter coming at you from the Duelist Den, and today we are starting a new series called Card Crash. In this series, we will be taking a card that is on the Forbidden or Limited list, discussing why it got put on that list, and whether or not that card can come off the list in any capacity. Before we get into this though, I do want to remind everyone out there that we are still taking contestants for the Archetype Assault Challenge. Now the way that challenge works is very, very simple. It's one of your decks against five of mine. The challenge can be done on Master Duel, Dueling Book, or Dueling Nexus, whatever works better for you. Your deck and my decks can only contain cards that are part of a certain archetype or are specifically named on a card within that archetype. If you beat all five of my decks, you win not only this White Vision Funko Pop, but a custom Duelist Den deck box as well. And these will be going on sale in September, so keep your eyes open for that too. Now the card we're going to be talking about today is of course, Performage Plush Fire. Now this card was released in Breakers of Shadows in 2016, and the support for this card's archetype was released in Clash of Rebellion, Dimension of Chaos, and Cross Souls, all of which were released in 2015. Now, Performage Plush Fire is a pendulum monster. It is a level four fire spellcaster pendulum with a thousand attack and a thousand defense. It has a pendulum effect that states that if a Performage monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your pendulum zone, then take 500 damage. You can only use this effect of Plush Fire once per turn. But what makes this card so dangerous is its monster effect, which states that if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Performage monster from your hand or deck, except Plush Fire. Now what makes this card so dangerous with that effect is that it is not a hard once per turn ability. It's not once per turn at all. So you can continuously use this effect multiple times per turn to go into heavy rank four plays. Now this deck was called Pepe, was the name of the deck that this was used in, and it focused primarily around both Performage and Performa Pal cards. And the combo worked with one of two other cards, either Luster Pendulum the Draco Slayer, which has a pendulum effect that states that if you have a card in your other pendulum zone, you can destroy that card, and if you do add one card from your deck to your hand with the same name as that card, and it worked with Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, which had a monster effect that states that if this card is special summon, you can target up to two cards you control and destroy them. And if you do add Performer Pal monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except Pendulum Sorcerer, equal to the number of cards destroyed, you can only use this effect with Pendulum Sorcerer once per turn. So combining Plush Fire with both of these cards, as well as other cards such as Wavering Eyes, which can destroy your own Pendulum Monsters to gain effects, allowed this card to really do some crazy things in the format. Pepe was a tier zero deck. I remember pl both playing this deck and playing against this deck because it was a pretty cheap deck to pick up. 90 plus percent of the top cut decks were running Pepe. It got so bad that Konami actually had to step in with an emergency ban list to get rid of this card and shut down this deck. It was bad. For those of you who played during that period, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who didn't, let's just say you thought Snake Eyes was bad. That being said, I personally feel Snake Eyes and the current Beansmith Snake Eyes deck is much, much worse than Pepe. And granted, Smith Snake Eyes is not seeing as large of a top cut presence as the Pepe deck did. Given the fact that Snake Eyes has, what, like 15 different ways to get into their one card starter, I, I do feel that's a lot worse than Pepe's two card starter. Uh, granted, Plush Fire is not a hard once per turn, but it, it was a two card starter. You needed two different cards to get that started. Plush Fire plus one of three other cards or four other cards or whatever to get that started. And Snake Eyes is just, it's just so much worse because it does have that one card starter. Do I think Plush Fire could come back off the ban list? Yeah, 
Uh, I personally would feel starting it off at limited or semi-limited would be better. Personally, I would like to see this come back to three just because I feel it could compete in the current meta with the way things are shaping up. Who knows? We have a ban list coming up later this month. We might see this come off at some point. Test the waters with it, see if people will possibly start picking up the Pepe deck again. I know I would probably pick up the Pepe deck again if this came off. Overall, I feel that this particular card has just gotten power creep by some of these other decks. Snake Eyes especially, also decks like Tempai Dragon, Yubel. There's just so many other decks I feel are so much faster than the Pepe deck was back in the day. The, this could come off the ban list and probably not cause too many waves. But I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Also, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you are in tune with all the latest videos and all the latest updates from us. And until next time, remember, Yu-Gi-Oh! is not just a game. Yu-Gi-Oh!